Hey guys, it's your own boy, the one only Great Dane. Just making sure everything's set up correctly. Is the audio sound alright? Should be good. Okay, so, anyway, so hopefully those of you that were watching earlier today weren't too disappointed when the stream randomly cut out. Because apparently we had a four hour power outage, which is rather unfortunate considering we're so close to finishing off this game. Also, Sans Bad Time has <laughs> um, just informed me that not only is there this ending to the game, but there's apparently another star we can unlock somehow, but he said it should be easy, so I'm really hoping I can finish it off today and then maybe move on to Five Nights at Candy's 3. Hi Shield for you, welcome to the stream. Let's see that the stream is already doing a great start off. Um, so, I didn't show you guys, but luckily for me, the game still runs even when the internet goes out. So I already know how or what happens when you die to the black rabbit. So, apparently, it shows you a game over screen, and then it shows you dead underneath a table, I think. So, if I'm to believe that every time you die to one of these characters it shows you the secret easter egg to that night that would mean that the robot the gem or whatever simon the robot whatever you want to call it apparently appears behind you on night six i know that sounds crazy considering he's been on the cameras every single time so far but i don't know where else to look so also i, I don't think i need to do the custom i think i can just jump right into night six have you ever played the normal FNAF? Uh, Shield Warrior, um, I don't talk about it too often, but I'm a pretty big fan of the YouTuber Markiplier, and he's already played a lot of the normal FNAF games, so I'm trying to steer clear of that. I mean, he technically even played this one, except he only played, like, the first six nights, so I didn't mind doing this one, because, like... I already watched him play like FNAF 3 per se, so I'm already gonna know everything there is to know about FNAF 3. It wouldn't really make sense for me to play FNAF 3 because there's, you know, nothing for me to really get excited about or dive too deep into the lure because I already know everything. So I, I'd rather give my time more to, um, you know, games by more unknown developers that could really maybe use a shout out and show off some great games. <laughs> You've never seen any of his gameplays. He he has done a lot of FNAF, and he was the first, I think, or at least the first recorded to beat the original FNAF on 2020-2020 mode. Yeah, Pop Goes is actually insane. This game has five flipping stars. I think that's some more stars than any FNAF game really ever, maybe even so far. Um, yeah, so without further ado... A little sensitive to curse words. Well, I try not to curse. Is is that why you don't watch Markiplier? You mean he curses a bit? I get that. I mean, I don't. I personally try not to. So when I when I get frustrated, I might say something close to one, but I'll never actually say it. Okay, so <laughs> um, apparently. The, the one problem is, every night so far, there's been a specific time where you can find the robot man. And there was no time in that death screen to the black rabbit, so I don't know when to look at it. That's the problem. Oh god, is it happening? Oh, never mind. Okay. My guess is 3 a.m. because it takes Pop Goes 3 hours to assemble it. Also, this is already off to a terrible start. <laughs> oh boy. Gotta get back into it quick. God, where is he? <laughs> I'm already a bit anxious. Yeah, nervous and excited at the same time. Sounds about right. I don't. God, I don't know where. I'm. I don't know what I'm doing. Hang on a minute. Okay, so I gotta make sure I'm playing the game regularly so I don't mess it up because I need to win the night in order to do it. Yeah, I, I guess I'll try looking at the table every hour and hopefully I'll just get it. Or at least as frequently as I can. Oh god, he's already got one. 
I don't- he doesn't have to actually assemble the thing in order for me to get him, right? The, the sisters aren't actually there yet, right? Oh god, they are. Where- oh my god, what? Why is Blake right there? Where are they? God, they're already in two? Man, I was not prepared to jump right into this. Yeah, this is not good. Also, I've never seen Blake that close. I have no idea why he was. Good. Yeah, this this is really bad. Green. He's already got another part. Maybe I'm wondering if I actually maybe have to let him assemble it in order to get this. Cause it said I need to like destroy the black rubber or something. I don't or get rid of it, I don't know. Something I found really interesting that unfortunately I didn't get to show you guys on stream is that um apparently once Popcos gets five of the parts, the head is actually in room number eight. So it's it's not something he actually has to print. Like, he, once he gets all five parts, he just gets the heads. And hopefully you just have enough time to survive. I feel like I'm probably going to fail this night. Just because I had a pretty bad start. But also, it'll it'll help that I know that it doesn't come around until, like, 3 a.m. probably. Okay, oh, wait, yeah, they're already in seven. This is the actual worst. Oh boy. If I can just get through the first two hours, maybe. Okay, uh, yellow. You know, this squirrels are literally at the point where if they get through one more, I'm just already dead. So I really need to pay attention to that. Okay, it's 2 a.m. Is he there? He's not. I don't know if it's an exact time or not, so hopefully... Hopefully I just get it. I'm just gonna keep trying to look at it as much as possible because it, it wasn't it definitely can't be a camera because it didn't say a camera it wouldn't make sense to be a camera yes it's got to be 3 a.m right because it just takes him three hours to assemble the darn thing I'm not doing horrible, I'm just not doing extremely well. There's a chance I could make a comeback here, I really hope so. Okay, it's 3 a.m. I'm really hoping it appears anytime now. Maybe he appears at the end of the night. Oh god, I think I'm dead already. I'm just dead already. So, but when does he appear? That's the question. Oh boy. 
So it's sometime after three, I think. If if I go through, because I'm only gonna start checking after three from now on, just because I think that's what it is. But if it's not that, then I'm just gonna let Popcos assemble the robot, because maybe I needed to do all the other stuff beforehand in order for this to work. Because there's definitely no color I could press for the black rabbit. He doesn't. Well, I never looked. White. What has a power color of white? I don't know what that means. What? There's no white buttons. That's the that's the issue. So I'm just gonna play it like normal until at least 3 a.m. Yeah, there is no white buttons. There's no, yeah, there's no, I mean, there's the radio buttons, maybe. I doubt it. God, I really gotta just delete this guy from my uh, phone list. Okay, they're still coming in. I want to keep checking the table, but I don't feel like... Or anywhere near there. Just gotta make sure. Okay, yeah, they're there. Should have a much better chance this time. Maybe look at where he attacks you from. Yeah, cause he 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 attacks from the back, right? I know it's not that I need to stare at it for a certain time. It's literally just that I need. To be there when he's there, I think. Anyway, <laughs> well, maybe he also can't be assembled by any parts that might have something to do with it. Like maybe I have to do perfectly with pop goes in order to get it. That that could also be part of it. I mean I'm doing a lot better this time, so hopefully if that is something I have to do, hopefully I get it this time. Time. Should be fine. <clears throat> Green. He's gonna go right. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I'm thinking he comes around four or five at the very least. Yeah, because if it's not having none of the pieces, then maybe I have to have all of them. Oh, gosh, I hit the wrong one. Yeah, he, he moves fast. I can shut down the room, but I don't think it'll do any good. He's priority. Yeah, he's already there. For my sake, I'm gonna assume that's not it, at least this time. 
But I think I'll know by the end of it, hopefully. Six hours, like, usually one of those special 12 hours. Yeah, the 12 hours, that was really bothersome. Be like four. I don't see him anywhere. Did he get another piece? I don't know where he is. Yeah, how? Where did he? Clearly, just didn't see him at all. I'm assuming it's fine, but I don't know. Maybe he secretly builds it no matter what. <laughs> Maybe I'm just not paying as much attention as I should. I'd even have to look at the table at the very end. Got another one, so that's not very good. He's got three so far. I think he can get up to two more. Should still probably be fine. He's just not doing anything, really. I'm just gonna keep trying to look at it as frequently as possible. like the last second you just have to look at the table <laughs> yeah I think the most annoying thing about camera 4 is just the fact that um, you can't always see pop goes even when he is there. It's five right now, so should be getting close, hopefully.
I've been looking at it as much as possible. Am I just missing something? Nothing there. Why well, was the regular night though? Maybe I should go back and die to the black rabbit again. Maybe I'm missing something. I still haven't found the truth yet, guys. I'm missing the truth. Why is Blake on his iPhone 12? <laughs> well, that doesn't help me in the slightest. I'm going back. I have to. It's got to be the table, right? Where, what else could it be? Maybe he literally needs to assemble the entire thing. That's my best guess. So... Yeah, I think that's all I needed to do. So let me show you guys, I guess, what really happens. <laughs> so, essentially Pop Goes goes to the printer in room 6, 3, 1, 2, and 5. And then he gets one final part out of the box from room 8, I think. Is that a printer? I don't... That's weird. I guess it is a printer. I just... It's weird that he never goes to that one until the very end. That is interesting. I guess if he gets five parts, just always turn off room eight or something. But yeah, basically he gets the part, he comes in through the left, and then he just shoves the part on the table. Bad weasel. Put the hand down. He looks so giddy when he runs away to get the rest of the parts. So yeah, I have to wait until 3 a.m. until he assembles the entire thing to get the death screen, which is literally just a game over screen under the table. Maybe there's some um, some kind of like time stamp somewhere that I missed. It's just that animation. Also, I have no idea why Blake would get so close to the character. Because if he's gonna murder him straight up, you know, why not just do it? Yeah, this, this, um, this unfortunately is the one that takes the longest. Because at least with the Squirrel Sisters, it's like a 50-50 if you kill yourself immediately. So he's got three, still needs three more. Literally at his fastest speed, it still takes him three flipping hours to get all the pieces. <laughs> I'm pretty sure what this means is that if you stop him from getting all the pieces until 4 a.m., he literally just can't kill you. There's also the chance that I need to last until 5 without him getting any of the pieces. Because if there's no secrets, then that's probably just what it is. And then I'll just have to try a little bit harder. 
and look at the table at five. Also, isn't it kind of weird that there's a bunch of other computers that, like, do the exact same thing as this one? They all look about exactly the same. Kind of makes me wonder. Looks like a bird from that angle. <laughs> bird weasel activate. Yeah, so this jump scare and the Blake one are probably the most animated. I guess the uh, stone jumping through the window is pretty crazy too. Yeah, so this is the last one he gets is the head. I don't, I don't know if you can stop him once he gets to this point though, I've never actually tried. I'm assuming you can, but I don't know, this is, and no matter what order he gets the other parts in, this is always the last one he goes for. And he gives you that menacing look right before he puts it on. Okay, is there any times listed anywhere? There's a white circle right there on the O. Yeah, so it's it's underneath the table. It's it's weird. I'm I'm thinking maybe he just can't get any of the pieces unless you guys saw something that I didn't. I don't know what else to do. Hopefully I can get it this time. Yeah, it seems like since this is kind of like the finale that you'd have to do it perfectly. I can probably let the Squirrel Sisters go a little longer as long as I stop Pop goes. Did you did you actually see that somewhere? I mean I believe you, but also how do you know? I, I guess I'll just wait till like four then. I must have just missed it. Unless you really do just need to do perfectly. Yeah, be, it's, it says behind you too, so it definitely must be that. There's the table, I mean.
that accidentally so often. Well, as long as it's just four, it should be fine. Maybe there's a different character you're supposed to die to and I just don't know which one it is. Or somehow I literally just missed it and it's like in the top dark corner or something. If you lighten up the image, I wouldn't doubt that. I mean, you've been pretty much right the entire time, so I'm sure you know what you're talking about. two more hours and hopefully I can get it. I don't know if I'm supposed to press anything, but it should be fine. Almost four. Should be getting pretty close. So I'm expecting to see the robot with white eyes. Maybe I just need to like tap on him or something. And he'll tell me the truth. Oh god, get off my screen. You off brand meme salad. <laughs> it's for I don't want to miss it but also I don't have that much time this is definitely the hardest one to get Just wait. It's taking so long though. Does it need to be perfect? I, I feel like that's what it is, honestly. Unless it's just taking a really long time. I 
can't find him anywhere. Yeah, it's already five. Did I miss it? I feel like I was looking at it the whole time at four. It, it must need to be perfect. You know, let me, let me exit and try it again. I don't, I don't know. Hey, sir, welcome back. This is tough. I'm guessing since he appears on the table, the table just needs to be clear. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure I can do it. If I just... I just need to play really hard on Pop Goes. The Weasels and the Badger don't mat matter as much as long as I get to four. I just need the giant robot man to tell me his dreams or something. I can't speak for everyone, but I'm just trying to find the good ending here, Gremlins. Welcome to the stream. So I think I need to not let Popcos get any of the pieces in order to get the good ending. Or at least that's my best guess. Because... I, I believe since bad time is correct on the time, it just must be a little more difficult. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> just need to make it four hours in and I should be scot free. Did he already get one? I don't know if that's it, but if he did, then I just want to restart, honestly. Oh, gosh darn it. I, I, I'm almost 100% sure that's it. Is there like a middle second off? Pretty sure he's the most active of all the characters on this night, too. The most annoying thing about this is going to have to listen to that phone ring every time I mess up. This is probably the only part in the game where you 
can't actually let him get one of the pieces. Because it does seem like it's really hard for him to kill you regularly with them. Because it takes literally three hours. I feel like there's two places he can be to go to the same room. I wonder if it's trying to throw me off. Maybe. I'm nervous he's just gonna get one and I'll be messed up the whole rest of the night. If he still doesn't appear after this, I honestly don't know what to do. Unless I just let him build the whole thing, but then he'll probably just kill me anyway, so... I don't know. I think I'm almost there, just two more hours. <laughs> Hopefully I can get this. Getting really close now. I'm fairly sure he hasn't gotten any yet. I'm getting extremely close. Just got you always type question marks and I'm not sure if you're just confused and I don't know how to how to answer you if you are. Maybe you just like typing question marks.
Okay. Again, only about an hour left. It's extremely close right now. I really hope this is it. Finally get the good ending to Pop Goes. <laughs> okay, it's four now, so... Just gotta wait for him to appear, I think. Hopefully. Should be here any second now. I'm trying to get the good ending. I gotta find the robot man. Where's he at? I'm so confused. Gosh darn it. I don't, I don't see him. Did I miss him again? Am I crazy? I made it to four. There's no buttons. I don't know, I, I feel like I've just got to be missing something. Yeah, maybe he just needs to assemble it. Unless I literally just missed it. <laughs> Room you behind you. Do I do I literally just need to I don't know. I think I'm about to die, but there's no white buttons in here. Something to click on. This might take a while. Yeah, I don't know. What, what am I missing? This is the last night. There's, there's no other... I did it at 2 a.m. Is, is that just what it is? Maybe I'm not looking at it 2 a.m. Because if I go to the characters, I've done Pop Goes, I've done Blake, I've done Sarah, I've done Saffron, I've done Crow. I've even looked at the Black Rabbit, I didn't see any timestamps. This isn't even really a character that, that I'm aware of. Yeah, I guess I'll just try it too then. I don't know. It's a bit tougher than I expected. <laughs> uh, Sans, do you know if I need to stop him from getting all the parts? I mean, 2 a.m. isn't that long, but still nice to know, I guess.
Here they go. 2 a.m. How would you know that? Is is that like the exact time it takes Pop Goes to get all the pieces is 2 a.m.? Maybe that's why. Yeah, because I definitely wasn't looking at it at 2 a.m., so if, if that's it, then that might explain why I missed it. Paco's always grabbing <laughs> black rabbit pieces. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I'm just getting that black rabbit. Gotta be almost time, hopefully. The guy didn't have any pieces on the table, but you don't think it's a problem. Well, I hope not, because that makes it at least 5% more difficult. I mean, I'm trying to right now. Obviously, I don't care how many pieces he gets, as long as I can just complete it at this point, so... Okay, it's 2 a.m. I'll just I'll just wait as much as I can in this area. He can get a few parts, I don't really care. get it is it random every night do I need to stare at it for a certain amount of time oh boy I don't think I can get that I got it somehow it's still two Still looking at it. Oh God! Okay, you're you win sense, but then you're right. Oh, whoa, boy, where are they? Oh God, they're already in seven. Are you joking? Oh God. Okay, well, all I gotta do is keep this on and always have room number eight turned off i think that's just what i'm gonna do honestly i'm just gonna cheese the rest of the night because <laughs> I, I don't think it matters as long as i survive
I'll try to remember what he said in a second, but right now I just need to beat this. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure room 8 is a printer, so as long as he doesn't get it, I'll be fine. <laughs> Only three more hours and I just gotta hopefully survive somehow. <laughs> as long as this room is always off. Probably be fine. Okay, super close at this point. Just weird words flashing on screen, I'll probably be fine. <laughs> Can we get some hype, guys? I think this is finally a continuation of the last stream. I don't even know if it's appropriate for me to ask for hype without actually being hyped. He <laughs> seems so demotivated, honestly. Okay, there we go. Let's go. Okay, so... Let me write this down and then I'll tell you what the other guy said. S A V E B O N N I E S A V Okay, that's repeating now. 
So, the full message is, Fritz made a big mistake, he wants her back, they obey, save Bonnie. So, the, we need to save the black rabbit girl? So, and I need to think really hard, I think what the um, Simon Robot on the table said is, he wants to save her, and I will make his wish come true. And then, I think he said, thank you, strings. But that doesn't make any sense unless he's referring to that weird robot from that, um, extra s scene. What the heck is this thing? Also, I, I did think it was interesting that they showed this sprite in the game, but we never actually played as it until now, so... Oh, I guess this is an easter egg? Whoa. What the heck? Was the girl dismembered? That's harsh. So a girl wearing a bunny mask was cut apart? I don't know if I can go anyway but down. I don't think there's any weird golden light or something to get in this one. So I don't even know what this is that I got the easter egg from. It looks like an arcade thing. I don't know. Okay, so that's the Bonnie stuff right there. So I guess that wasn't that hard. It just literally happened to miss him like every time. Oh, there's another one? Oh no, this is the same one. It's weird that they still have this here, though. So maybe this is her after she got cut apart? I don't know. <laughs> so what does the weird robot on a table have to do with me saving Bonnie, though? That's the question. It's all the Bonnie stuff, so this is obviously all supposed to be related. Ew. I don't know if I want to walk into that. Can I just not? What happens if I don't? <laughs> the music be like... <laughs> Well, I wouldn't exactly call it music, but... Okay, so here's the question. What happens if I go through all this, and then I don't walk into this light? Is that an option? Okay, it isn't. Unless I can go down. I can't. Okay, so... I, I need to do whatever is about to happen. Hopefully this should quote-unquote save Bonnie. Ah. Oh. I got flashbanged. Hang on, guys. I need to reset my eyes. What on earth? Oh, is it letting me go anywhere now? Maybe not. Okay, I can go down. Can I go right? Yeah. I'm wondering if there's any more, like, secrets. So I can go down. I can't go to the right or left or up. Can't go back. Did you guys hear something that sounds like a rotor engine in the background just then? Something weird's going on here. I can only go down. Now I can really only go down. Wonder if I can do the hot cha de cha dance. <laughs> the ritualistic save Bonnie dance. Yeah, I've been walking down for quite a while now. That's, that's the guy, though, that owns the restaurant, isn't it? Is that Fritz? 
They obey Fritz. This isn't the purple guy. I think the purple guy is the father of Bonnie, right? I'm kind of worried about what's about to happen on screen, guys. It might be a bit graphic, because if you remember what happened to the other robots, they fell apart, so... I think when I quote-unquote save Bonnie, I'm literally going to rip this guy apart. Um, if you don't like that, avert your eyes, I guess. Okay. I'm gonna go for the superpower here. I'm gonna run in a circle fast, and I'm gonna come at him from the side. Okay. Falcon punch. Oh god, he did fall apart. Okay, that wasn't that graphic, but still... A little disturbing. Wait, hey, hang on a minute. Am I? Am I? I'm, guys, I can't move, but it looks like I'm still playing. I, I guess I just need to sit back and let whatever's. Whoa, Simon. That's just what I'm calling him. But Ugh. what is he doing? Is he breathing on me? What is happening? <laughs> Did I, did I have a heart attack? What? Rest in peace, Jeremy Fitzgerald. So we, we killed Jeremy? Fritz. Well, that is confusing because Fitzgerald almost sounds like Fritz. Is, is Fritz and Jeremy Fitzgerald the same person? It says he was a coward. You obeyed a monster? Unlocked Simon? Simon? Like, I can play as that thing? Deluxe animatronics and gravestone. What? Oh, I already got five stars? What, what did I do to get the fifth one? Oh. Anyway, uh... So... Strings is a mechanical experiment made by Fritz as a test of, for artificial intelligence and curiosity. So, did we murder Fritz or Jeremy? That, that's what I want to know. Also, were we supposed to be playing as this thing? Because I think it says, thank you, Strings. But, but this thing is, I don't know. Okay, so Simon is this thing, which weirdly enough looks like purple guy. <laughs> His power color is dynamic. Wonderful. So Simon is an artificial intelligence replica of a human with the name Simon. Simon's intelligence makeup allows him to evolve over time and force visual cues into the machines with similar AI. So I'm guessing that means he somehow had control over the other ones. He was chained to a wall for most of his life before killing his creator in anger. Did we help him do that? This is rather confusing. Oh! The Lux animatronics are the enlightened ones? That is something. Yeah, so why does, why does it look like a giant purple guy's face. Literally, the last one literally is the sprite for purple like like purple guy glitched out, isn't it? Gra <laughs> gravestone. That that's actually hilarious. So rest in peace, Jeremy Fitzgerald. Inventor, caring father, and coward. Did so we must have killed Jeremy then, right? Because we obeyed the monster robot? Is that there's so much to take in here. <laughs> Who's creepy sour, Simon or the gravestone? I mean, I, they're both kind of creepy. I mean, I think strings is okay, I guess. This thing kind of looks like it has human teeth. Yeah, I don't know. I I want to theorize here, but I I think the stream is about done, right? I done everything I can. I got five stars somehow. So in, unless anyone else has anything to say, I think I'm probably just going to end off stream. And I, I don't think there's anything else to show you guys. I think I've shown you everything I can. I think that's the full game as it is until the
game is recreated, which should be very interesting. I have no idea how they could possibly do any better than this. There's literally already so much in this game. I still hate this. What is this? <laughs> Seriously, what? what is this? Why is this just a scrapped concept? <laughs> is it a mask? Yeah, I, I think I've done everything. Hey, just look at the credits quick, I guess. Can't click on... Oh, I guess I can. I mean, like, can I read all of these? Maybe that's what I can do. So, Kane Carter. I have no idea what I have done to deserve this immense amount of support that's been given to me over the past year. Total strangers I've met over the internet who have become workers or then become some of the best friends I've ever had. Pop Ghost has been an amazing experience and I love how it has turned out. Thank you so much for the support. Pop Ghost was certainly a fun experience and a joy to work on. Well, times found the team was somewhat short compared to the other developers. I still love knowing I left such a big impact on the game even after I left the development team. I still love the surprise of the teasers, the trailer, and the whole game in general. I love the experience of Pop Goes, and I hope everyone who plays it will enjoy it as well. I certainly did. It was really, really something. Uh. <laughs> I, what is Gravestone? I, I, I'm assuming that's what you're asking, Star Beast. I'm not 100% sure. I, I think it's literally just a joke animatronic based on that end screen. This project has certainly been a journey for me a whole year or more of banter, headaches, laughs, and frustrations. Every single one of them has been worth it and has been thoroughly entertained by them. Now, hopefully the people who play this and those who are now reading the screen will enjoy playing the game as much as I did when taking part in creating it. So working on Pop Goes has been an interesting experience for me despite having to deal with many complications in real life. It doesn't mean to be a very unsteady member of the team, but hey, at least I made my mark, right? I don't think I can click on these ones. Maybe they just didn't feel like uh, having their own little thing. Uh, making Pop Goes has definitely been an awesome experience. It's amazing to me how a group of teenagers from nearly every corner of the world has come together to create something that we can all be proud of. Sure, there have been ups and downs, but all in all, I couldn't have asked to be part of a better team. It's been an honor. It's been great. It's a very cool thing. Me and working with all the people on the team has been pretty cool, and I hope everyone that enjoys the game and appreciates what's been put into it. It's definitely taken a while, but I think the final product was worth the wait. I'm super glad to be a part of this game. Working this team is incredibly fun, and Kane was the perfect person to lead it, always putting the game and its quality up front. I don't know what quality you're talking about, but there's certainly some. What may have been delayed a multitude of times, I think it was definitely worth it for the end result. With FNAF's popularity coming to an end, I hope people will be able to relive the experience through this little project. I don't think FNAF is really coming to an end, to be completely honest with you. I, I feel like it comes in spouts, honestly. I guess there's nothing else here. Is there more people? I think that's. Yeah, that's everything. And then there's special thanks to these people for the models, the jump scare. Yeah, Avid Levin animated quite the jump scare for Blake. That that's a pretty insane one. Posing and rendering Poco's character teasers. And then there's a little message about how he got some donations for his cat who is suffering from um a lesion so that, that was pretty cool that they helped with that yeah so um i think we're just about done here gremlins <laughs> unfortunately you can go back and watch the ending it, it wasn't too long basically what happened was uh simon appeared and smelled me and then we died or something i don't i don't know <laughs> something something really weird happens he just kind of came in and he flashed all weird colors, and that was it. And then Jeremy Fitzgerald is dead, apparently. Yeah, so um, thank you guys so much for coming, especially all those that came throughout all of the Popco streams. It's been a crazy experience. I know there's been a lot of times where this game has gotten um, 
and well not just this game getting delayed but my stream on this game also getting delayed which is weirdly coincidental but throughout it all I've had a lot of fun it hasn't always been easy but getting through it does feel really good now so and, until this game is recreated um, yeah this is gonna be it for now and I think maybe next week is gonna be Five Nights at Candy's 3 unless I come up with something else but I doubt it so Thank you guys so much for watching, make sure to leave a like if you didn't already, I see most of you did, so thank you for that. Feel free to leave anything for the comments, and as long as my comments are never flooded, I'll always try to get back to you, and make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see more content like this in the future, so 